Hey friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. It is a Friday morning, so this is gonna be a weekend vlog. Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday. Um, I'm excited. I think I think it's gonna be a good weekend, and actually I'm really excited because today I have a fun package to open with y'all because my box is getting here from Thrive Market. I am working with them on this vlog, and something about a snack haul is just the most fun type of haul. Am I wrong? <laughs> this morning has been a lot, but I'm proud of myself. I did my first cycling class this morning. I am leaving right now. I'm feeling exhausted. I feel like the capacity of my lungs is like a fifth of what I remember it to be. I like couldn't take breaths. And I was trying to think back to the last time I did any sort of cardio. And I genuinely think it's been at least a year. I did one cycling class for a video where I tried Jennifer Aniston's routine for a day. And that was hard. Just a little bit of realness for you there. Something I realized though is I feel like I have reached my uncomfort threshold. Like life has been just so new and so different that like I cannot get more uncomfortable. So now trying new things feels like no big deal because everything's new. So I'm trying to really take advantage of the fact that like I don't really have nerves going into these situations, doing things like going to church alone or trying new classes or starting conversation with someone. It doesn't feel like a big deal anymore because everything else feels so much bigger. So I'm just really taking advantage of that right now. <laughs> but I stink, my hair stinks. I, I need a shower. So let's go home, let's shower, let's get ready for the day and let's have a good weekend. I'm determined. from Thrive Market. Oh, it's always such a happy day whenever these come in the mail. I'll show you everything I got. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I am partnering with Thrive Market on today's vlog. And Thrive Market is actually something that I've been paying for my own membership for maybe eight months now. I absolutely adore them because I save a lot of money on my favorite groceries ever. So in case you haven't heard me talk about Thrive Market before, they're an online marketplace and they make it really easy to get healthy food delivered to your doorstep at a discounted price. So they are membership based. You pay a monthly fee around $5 a month and then you get discounted prices on their foods. I love their foods. It's a lot of my favorite kind of cool, healthy brands. Um, and you can sort by different dietary types like vegan or for me, gluten-free. So I just click the one gluten-free button and then everything it's showing me in the categories, I know I can safely eat without having to read the labels, which is one of my favorite things. Before I open my box, something else that's so exciting. They actually increased the discount on my link for this month. I didn't think it could get any better. <laughs> so at thrivemarket.com backslash Mikkel Jancy, you can get your first box for 40% off and a free gift. I think that the average person saves $36 an order is their stat. Also, a few FAQs that I got last time I partnered with them is about shipping. And there is free shipping if the box that you buy is at least $49. And something new that I learned that I didn't know that they did, which is so cool, they do membership matching. So if you have a membership, you're also sponsoring one low-income family to be gifted a membership so that they have access to these incredibly healthy, delicious foods and snacks. Household goods, I even got something for Max. They even have some pet goods, just sec. All the packaging's 100% recyclable too. Like they thought of everything, really. And I just love that it's nice that there's less you have to get at the grocery store and it's more expensive at the grocery store anyways. I got two packs of these olives. I hated olives. These made me love olives. They're zesty Italian little snack packs. Some of my favorite gluten-free crackers. They're Char's entertainment crackers. I have not seen this before, but I love the brand Partake. It's a gluten-free brownie mix. I kind of want to make this tonight cacao and maca sprouted almonds. Thought that, that could be a healthy snack. Also, Nashville hot sprouted almonds. 
feeling spicy, feeling sweet. My household's got both covered. <laughs> this is what Max is gonna be so excited for. He loves bully sticks and they're kind of hard to find sometimes. So I got these and these look a lot cleaner than the other ones I get. And these are no stink because they can stink if you don't get the no stink. So Max is gonna be pumped about that. <gasps> I forgot, I got both. I thought I chose one. They also had a blondie mix. Oh, I got brownies and blondies. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I hear everybody talk about it. It's truff hot sauce. It's truffle infused hot sauce. It's a little bit fancy, but I think this would be so good on the breakfast tacos I make. I was clearly in a sweet tooth mood when I placed this order. Organic Twilight Mint Chocolate. Actually, I did this last time and I was shocked because I had forgotten. Let me see how much money I saved on this particular order so that you can get kind of a general idea. So this was a smaller order. I only ordered 11 things and still I saved $22.77 as opposed to like traditional retail prices for these things. Like I pay off my membership so quick and then start saving money so quick ordering this just one to two times a month, honestly. I love Thrive Market so much. I always get really excited when I get to work with brands that I've already been paying for myself. Um, it feels very serendipitous. So if you're trying to have access to healthier foods, maybe you don't live near like a, like a healthy grocery store and it's just harder to find, highly recommend. I will have that link down below, but in case you forgot, thrivemarket.com backslash Mikkel Jancy, 40% off and a free gift. I absolutely adore them. I'm gonna give one of these to him now. Oh, he already is excited. He knows this is for him. These are big. Oh, sit, shake. Oh, okay, enjoy. <laughs> He's dancing around. It is literally 1 p.m. and still 39 degrees. And I have become so ill-equipped to handle cold. LA really ruined me. <laughs> But I figured I'd make myself get out of the house because it's a good thing to do and I've been playing a game called How long can I let these nails go before I get them done again? I think it's been way before Christmas <laughs> And I've officially broken two of them. I'm actually playing that same game with my gas tank right now How long can I let this go before it's too far? My nails are so weak. They've always been weak and then I've been getting them done more than I used to So they file them down every time and they get even weaker and I know the only solution is to stop getting your nails done, but I think I'm gonna try dip today just to see if, because these nails, they didn't break, they ripped. So I'm gonna see if that helps to solve that problem. Cause I really like having pretty nails. It gives me a little bit of confidence, a little bit of self care, um, really should give them a break, but so goes life. <laughs> okay, ready? New nails. The color looks very different outside than it did inside. Inside it looked like a like a crimson, you know, that color I've been getting a lot lately, which is like a little bit like blood. It's looking pretty bright out here. It's fine. That was fun for an adventure though. Let's go be productive. Okay, a package just got here and assuming it works, I have a little project we could do, but I'm pessimistic because I've had my fair share of Amazon fails. This is supposed to be like a floor to ceiling corner rack for a shower. If this works, I thought we could just do a little bathroom organizing party. This might be a little complicated. <laughs> One minute, please. Well, I built it and then measured the height and made it 1.77 inches taller. And apparently you're supposed to shimmy this onto the ceiling and then just like wedge the bottom underneath to get it to stay. Not feeling very confident, but let's try it. <laughs> okay, position it onto the ceiling. There. Should I try putting something on it? Good thing there's not as many earthquakes in Texas as California. Let's style it! <laughs> Maybe a body wash shelf. This might actually be a two things per shelf. 
type of situation. Let's try that. Okay, here's what we got. This is also, I guess, gonna double as a what I use in the shower. So up here we have stuff I use less frequently. We have the scalp scrub from Drunk Elephant, which I love. Jojoba oil gets off makeup really well, so I use that to remove makeup. Then we have everyday body wash. I use Native and Honey Pot. Then we have hair. Lately I've been using Amika and I really like it. And I have loved the Olaplex that we recently bought together. Then I have Nécessaire. I have the body wash and the exfoliant and my razor. And then I have this down here because it's my only one. So I carry it back and forth to the sink whenever I'm washing my face at the sink. So it doesn't really need a permanent home. I'm proud. I can't believe I did that by myself. I know that was small, but it actually made a huge difference in the shower. And can I just say I'm like genuinely proud of myself for doing that? Because I feel like my old mentality would have been along the lines of, Oh, that seems complicated. I will ask husband or father to help me with it. But I didn't need to. And you know what else I have? A few more of these that we got at Ikea a few weeks ago in a vlog. And so how about you just sit back and enjoy a little montage of me organizing the cabinets in my bathroom and then cleaning it. Because that's always satisfying, isn't it? Let's do it. I thought summer vacation would never end That feeling of sinking toes in the sand They said to enjoy it while you can But those words never seem to land It feels like way back when I wish I had Quickest of thieves She won't ever be caught by nobody She'll run all the way to eternity I wish I had known all of this before I wish I had known But at least now I know My bathroom is feeling so much more clean and organized and that's always a great feeling and it's Friday night so I was kind of trying to challenge myself to make plans with someone do something fun um, and I reached out to maybe four or five friends that I have in Austin and everybody has plans so my initial reaction was honestly to be a little bit disappointed and sad because it's Friday night but ended up kind of trying to challenge myself to switch my mentality around ordered some sushi that was just delivered because my favorite thing is sushi and like a good movie and I just asked on my Instagram what are rom-com suggestions that I should watch tonight and I'm gonna just enjoy treating myself spending a night alone taking it really easy watching a rom-com and eating sushi because that is a good practice for me and it's a fun thing about this time of life I could do that why not so those are my plans, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. It's Saturday, and it's so dark outside. I kid you not, it's almost 10 a.m., and it is so dark. It feels like 5 a.m., but um, last night, I intended to watch a rom-com, but a lot of people told me to watch Don't Look Up, and I regret it because it made me stressed and sad. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'm like culturally aware now because it's trending so much. Also, I have something in my eye. And I did successfully make plans for the day. I booked another workout class. This one seems very chill though. It's like a flow yoga and meditation class. Thought that could be fun for a gloomy Saturday. So that's where I am right now about to get out and go check in. And then tonight I'm going over to my friend Alex's house and we're going to have a cooking date. There was something she said she really wanted to cook and now I don't remember what it was because it was in a voice memo. So I can't like reference it back but it might have been like arepas it was definitely something corn based so gluten free which is great and i'm looking forward to it i think it's gonna be a good day so here's to saturday
a little bit later in the day. I just got some work done. It's weird. I haven't had like a normal work schedule. I've been working nights and weekends, but also like not working a lot throughout a lot of weekdays. And I think I'm working the same number of hours, just very odd hours and it, I'm still not used to it, but I'm giving myself grace in this season. And there was, there was another <laughs> kind of realization I had and thing I had to hold myself accountable about. And I wanted to just sit down and have another little heart to heart chat. And then I was realizing, Almost all of my vlogs lately have had a heart to heart chat. So if I'm going a little overkill with it, feel free to let me know and I will tone them back. But <laughs> this has just been a huge season of self-reflection and learning and honesty. And whenever I have a realization, I want to share it with y'all because um, the messages and the feedback I've gotten from y'all so far has made me feel so much less alone. And a lot of people have felt less alone knowing that I'm feeling some things. So I feel like it's a win-win and a comment I get a lot is, wow, you're so mature for 24. You're acting more mature than I could ever be. Lots of comments about maturity and maturity is something that I do strive for, but there's been some things in this season that I need to just admit I have been incredibly immature about. This chat is gonna be about immaturity and um, social media and how toxic and difficult social media can be when you're going through a breakup of any sort, whether it's a divorce or a separation or just breaking up with a dating partner. For me, I realized that the platform that was causing a lot of toxicity was Twitter. I actually have grown to really love Twitter because I have no followers on Twitter, so I feel like I can just be way more free. <laughs> and like, where, where else can you just post the sentence without having to pair it with a picture or anything like that? So I've really come to like Twitter. Um, and so I was spending more time on Twitter, but the thing that I was doing that was toxic then we'll get to the thing that I was doing that was immature. But the thing that I was doing was that was toxic was looking for things that I knew would hurt me. I think if I psychoanalyze why I was doing that is I have honestly been a little bit manipulated in the past and maybe we could even say gaslit into believing some things were not true that were true. And so I think I was looking for proof that I'm not crazy. I was looking for proof that my gut instincts were correct so that I could not have that battle in my mind of am I making things up in my head? But then when I would find the things I was looking for, it didn't feel good. It, Part it, of me was like, I'm so glad I was right because I was disregarding these gut instincts for years. But then part of me is like, well, now what? I was right and this is incredibly hurtful to find. So that was the, the toxic part that I've been struggling with. And the immature thing that I've been doing, I'm just gonna admit this straight up. I four, five, six times pulled like a tweet and delete situation immediately, tweeted something with the intention to delete it. And if I go back and analyze why I've been doing that, I think that I've honestly been a little disappointed in myself for trying so hard to protect someone that has hurt me and continues to hurt me, especially online. And at the end of the day, I do still want to protect anyone and everyone around me. But whenever I find something that makes me hurt in that moment, I don't want to protect that person anymore. So I felt so good for even just a brief second to online not protect that person. But I didn't actually want anybody to see it. I didn't want the consequences, so I would delete it immediately. It was more of like a cathartic release. I just needed to hold myself accountable, really take a step back, ask myself, why am I looking for these things? And why am I not being mature in this moment and tweeting and deleting? And now that I kind of realize why in terms of trying to prove my gut instincts and also just so much hurt and resentment built up inside of me that I just wanted a quick, easy release of it, I understand it a little bit better. So a while ago, I undownloaded the Twitter app from my phone. Like I said, I love Twitter. I feel like it's very much how I stay in the know. So I definitely plan on redownloading it in a week or two or three. I just kind of need a pause and to reassess my heart, a little blank slate, and then I'll download it when I feel like I'm healthy again. Also, it's been wild how many times I go to click on the app and it's not there. Like how many times was I mindlessly doing that and mindlessly refreshing, just waiting to get hit in the face again with something incredibly hurtful to see. I think it's good for me to kind of break that cycle. And I just wanted to have that chat because I don't know, maybe we all do it but I don't want people to falsely assume I'm so mature when I have been doing things that are very immature. So maybe that little honest chat will help you assess 
the the toxic things you seek out on social media and maybe we can undownload a couple apps together or mute someone or even block someone i i've done that <laughs> and it does help. Um, and when you're going through something like this, honestly, protecting your heart is the most important. And I don't know why we like to kind of hurt ourselves sometimes. That's been my reflection and that's been my realization and not having Twitter on my phone for the last week has really helped me. So cheers to that. <laughs> I just hung out with a group of neighbors and now it's time to go to Alex's. So I'm packing little Christmas gift for her. This is actually the line a day journal. I will link this. I love this. I've written in one every single night for seven years now. And I think it's a really good little intentional gift for people. And then she said to bring some sort of dessert. So I'm gonna bring the blondies and the brownies and let her choose. Maybe bake them both, why not? And drinks. So I'm bringing the stuff from last vlog to make mocktails. We got our grapefruit juice. Gotta make sure this won't spill in my bag. Ginger beer. We got Ken Euphorics, which is like, if you missed it, it's a little mocktail alternative to liqueur and lime. And Max, I'm bringing Max too because he loves to play with her dog, Ox. So we're all packed up, ready to go. We just got home. Max, who's right here, uh, walks into their house and he's friends with their dog, Ox. Gets very excited, runs to the middle of their den and just poops. Incredibly disrespectful. He's only done that like once before in the middle of a very fancy hotel lobby, which was also petrifying. But that, that was our night. It was a lot of fun. I'm just so thankful for the friends that I have here in Austin and that feel like family. And Alex and I have been friends since my freshman year of high school. So goodness, let's see. That's at least 10 years of friendship. Oh, I didn't fully realize that. Um, I was considering taking the vlog to tomorrow, but I was looking back at the footage and I was like, oh shoot, I overfilmed per usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. But before I do, I wanted to say thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video. We made those blondies, they were incredible. Um, and don't forget, I will have my link down below, which is thrivemarket.com backslash Mikhail Jancy for 40% off your box right now and a free gift off your first box that is. So I'll have all of that information linked down below along with anything else I think you might possibly need about this video in the description box. But I love y'all. Thanks for spending a weekend with me. Thanks for letting me be honest and letting me have fun and everything in between. I'm forever thankful for you guys. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all out